Who thinks they're ready for grief? <laughs> <laughs> Who thinks they're ready? Hmm? <laughs> Whose uh, parents bought them a pet when they were growing up? Yeah? What did you have? A cat. You had a cat? Yeah. Dead now? Yeah, my mum poisoned him by mistake. <laughs> 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 right, what's your name? Will. Hi, Will. <laughs> Look, I'm going to let you know where I'm at, right, mentally. I, I've calculated very quickly. Uh, do I explore that? <laughs> and risk disrupting not only the pace of the show, <laughs> but the hilarity of it, because that might be better than anything I'm about to say. <laughs> <laughs> now, you don't know what I'm going to do for the rest of this hour. No. How funny do you think this story is? Nine funnies. Nine funnies? <laughs> oh, William. Oh, William. I'm afraid your answer was too eccentric. <laughs> Denied. <laughs> Nine funnies. Oh, I'll invent my own metric system. <laughs> Fuck you, Will. <laughs> I'm glad it's dead. <laughs> you deserve nothing but tragedy. <laughs> you fucking... <laughs> A plague on nine of your houses. <laughs> so... <laughs> now, of course, when your parents buy you a pet, all right? The idea is that you learn to love that pet and nurture that pet, and then that pet will die. And you'll experience grief, with the idea being that when a person dies, you'll be better able to process that grief. Well, my parents tried that for me by buying me a cat 15 years ago. And it has fiercely refused <laughs> to serve a purpose. Now, whenever I go home and see my parents, the cat is on the sofa propping its own eyes open. <laughs> like, absolutely, it's disgusting. Like, it's been 15 years. It's fetid. It's losing its hair. It's, it's absolutely foul, you know? 15 years. 15 years is just so long. And um, uh, last year, uh, my, my nan died. Uh, and thank God because at least now I am prepared for when my cat dies. 